The Nigerian Center for Disease Control, the NCDC, has deployed its rapid response team to support the Lagos State Government as Nigeria records its case of coronavirus COVID-19. Dr. Chikwe Iekweazu, Director General of the NCDC, confirmed the development in Abuja. The NCDC, he said, has also escalated the, the multi-sectoral coronavirus preparedness group to an emergency operations center, EOC, at level 11 to lead response activities. Nigeria has just announced its first case of coronavirus. The third confirmed case in Africa, the patient, an Italian national, returned to Nigeria from Italy and has been placed in isolation. Ie Kwazu said the health facilities must remain on high alert. Joining us in the studio to discuss this further is Dr. Nesochi Okeke Ibokwe. Thank you, doctor, for joining us this afternoon. Thank you for having me. Now, it seems like we finally have nightmare on our streets. How do we begin to react to this development? So the recent development, we first have to understand what the virus is that we are dealing with. Okay. So when we talk about coronaviruses in general, yes. these are a family of viruses that can actually um, cause problems in both humans and um, animals as well. Okay. In regards to humans, there are a total of about um, seven coronaviruses that actually cause illness in humans. This new coronavirus, the novel coronavirus, is the seventh one known to cause any form of illness in the human population. Yeah. Four of them just caused things like just the common cold. Um, we have two other ones that have caused severe illness in the past that have actually led to um, death in the population. If you're familiar with the SARS outbreak and the MERS um, outbreak that occurred back in 2002 and 2012, those were ones that had the potential to um, be actually lethal. Okay. Then in comes this new coronavirus, this novel coronavirus. Um, in December 2019 in Wuhan, China, they started noticing that there was um, this uh, trend of suspicious pneumonias of um, some of the population there. Okay. So the leading theory pretty much is that there was some form of zoonotic infection, meaning that there was um, transfer from infection of the virus from some animal source to humans, and then thereafter, that's how this started to spread throughout the human population. Okay. So the epicenter of it really began in Wuhan, China, but now we're seeing it globally around the world affecting many nations and now coming in into sub-Saharan Africa. Right. Now, this is an important case in, in tropical country, and how does this change our perception of the virus, of the viability in hot climates, given also the, the positive test in Brazil? So just because the um, test came out positive in these tropical climates, it's pretty much showing us that we don't know how this um, virus is really going to behave. Okay. It's still too soon and too early to know. But is there some form of protective effect based on climate? It's hard to say at this point, but unlikely considering that we are now seeing it in various areas in different climates around different areas of the world. Now we have a conf conf confirmed case in Lagos, Nigeria. Yes. How does this now begin to change um, the game in terms of public health measures and responses? At this point, now that we do have a definitive confirmed case, we know that the Nigerian CDC, they've been working hard since the uh, beginning of the outbreak in China to figure out what they would do if there is an outbreak or even a confirmed case in, in Nigeria. Nigeria. So now we're finally at that point. What are we going to do? The question is, are we actually really prepared? Are those prepared, um, those measures that they took to try to get us to a point that we can handle this, are we ready to implement some of those strategies that were put in place? So, you know, good things that they had placed um, in Nigeria is that first and foremost, we do have the capability of testing for corona in various um, laboratory settings here in Nigeria. Okay. Um, staff and medical staff and personnel are also being trained on how to actually handle dealing with a patient that has um, coronavirus. Right. In various ports of entry uh, throughout Nigeria, there are screenings that are being done to see if we can actually try to detect somebody that might actually be high risk for the coronavirus. But in regards to the general population, what we need to do for ourselves is educate ourselves and really understand what we know to date about the virus to kind of protect us from being exposed to it. Because right now, there is no cure for this virus and there's no vaccination right now that's available either. Okay, help us put this in, in, in better perspective. Can, can you put the risks with a coronavirus in perspective compared to the risks with infectious 
uh, infections that are endemic to Nigeria, like the Lassa fever. So um, diseases like Lassa fever endemic to Nigeria, what yeah. we know in the past two months or so, there have been um, almost over 100 um, deaths due to Lassa fever. The outbreak of the Lassa fever. Exactly. Yeah. But right now with corona, with the coronavirus, it's too soon to tell how this is going to behave in the population here in Nigeria. But the things that we need to know are that prevention, prevention is really um, key to stave off outbreaks of either diseases. Okay. And the key thing that we need to know is how we deal with um, just our hygiene measures. So hygiene is key in order to kind of stave off any issues with either diseases. Okay, either diseases, because I was just gonna to come to that. I mean, the measures we should begin to take to prevent the infection of this, of this virus, and even all Nigerians should start wearing the, the face mask. Not necessarily. Okay. So the face masks, they're good for those who actually are infectious, who actually are suffering from a respiratory illness so that they are not able to infect others. Okay. So the mode we know right now of transmission for the virus is via respiratory droplets. So when you're sneezing or coughing, those respiratory droplets that come out from the mouth or the nose those droplets can actually infect others that makes it airborne. around us. So it means if you're in contact with yes. these respiratory um, droplets, you yourself can be infected. If somebody sneezes or coughs and those droplets get on like the surface on the table, then if you touch that, potentially you can infect yourself with those droplets by touching various areas of the face, the mouth, the eyes. So it's really key that we, you know, really fortify our hand hygiene practices and make sure we're washing our hands frequently and doing things to protect ourselves. And now we have a, um, a video from the Lagos State Government. Let's take a look. The patient remains in strict isolation at our containment facility in Yaba and is doing well under supportive therapy. As of now, we've started to trace the movement of this traveler from the airport through Lagos to Ogun State. And we're busy identifying any possible person that may have come in contact with him so that we can start our isolation and containment exercise to ensure that we break the cycle of transmission triggered all our various levels of um, power security and containment. Like I did mention, we're up till early hours of this morning contacting both the federal authority, um, including Mr. President, and um, everybody that needs to be aware, um, including the facility that uh, the, this patient had had contact with, um, the chairman of the company and everybody in the company, they've been very supportive they had proactively also contilled um, um, their own staff. So like the commissioner said, we had gone out. Uh, people are out there now trying to track every of um, uh, suspected interaction um, that this patient might have had contact with. And we're ready. Our facility has been fortified to um, continue, if need be, of any form of tests. And, um, Containment, if if need be. Uh, how how prepared, how well prepared we say Lagos State Government is in, in containing this virus, as you can see from the video clip of what was said. How prepared is the Lagos State Government? Well, we need to still see if they're able to implement some of the strategies that the Corona Preparedness Team have been um, trying to kind of strengthen and fortify before okay. we had our. Uh, first confirmed case. case yes. But the key things that we need to know, do we have enough medical personnel on ground to handle a potential um, outbreak? Do we have um, enough uh, respirator masks for the personnel? Do we have some of those things that are actually going to be needed when coming face to face with a patient that has the coronavirus? Are we able to actually detect those patients who might actually have a suspected case of corona? So the thing that we need to really do and figure out if the um, regulatory bodies are able to have good surveillance 
of suspected cases okay. and confirm them within a good and fast amount of time. All right, and before I let you go this afternoon, to, to the average viewer right now, to the Nigerian out there who is now, I mean, having a little bit of panic about this situation, what is paramount for them to do hygiene-wise? Okay. As, they, as they wake up every day, go into the day, what is paramount to do hygiene-wise? There shouldn't be panic at this point, but okay. this is a moment and an opportunity for everyone to implement strong hygiene practices. Okay. Make sure that you wash your hands frequently with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If you don't have soap and water available, a good hand sanitizer. Not less than 20 seconds. Yes, not less than 20 seconds. Okay. That's the amount of time that you really yeah. need to get all those microbes off of the um, hands and the fingers. Um, also, if you don't have that available, the soap and water, use um, a hand sanitizer, an alcohol-based hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol in that. Another thing, if you are symptomatic, meaning that you're showing symptoms of coughing and sneezing, please cover your cough. Do not cough in people's faces and make sure you cough into a tissue, dispose of it well and appropriately. And I also tell people, don't be afraid to let others who are not taking those correct um, preventive measures and putting people at risk. Don't, yes. don't be afraid to speak up. If you see somebody coughing up a storm and putting the population at risk, just let them know, please, just kindly cover up your okay. cough. Okay. And honestly, if you're sick, stay home, don't go to school, don't go to work. It's not worth risking infecting the rest of the population. Dr. Nasochi Okeke, thank you very much for joining us on News on the Hour and for your contribution. Thank you for having me.